Hi guys, welcome to Objeda. In our previous videos, we created this uh, cart where you can add products. Uh, you can increment or decrement them in the cart. And then we also added a, a address field or address input where users can input the address and that will be shown on the right side. And then they can uh, submit that as well, which will be shown in a uh, alert, right? So this time what we'll do is we want to separate them since they are they're all in a single file which is like kind of uh, too long now so if you look at this file uh, app.svelte it's getting too long so we will have to separate it into components before we do that we have to store these data in a store file and also make sure it works so that way even if you uh, make it to different components uh, the app will not break so let's get started with uh, a store file. Uh, I will call this uh, something like card.js. Uh, that would be that would be fine. So we'll import. Uh, if you haven't watched my uh, store video, which uh, which explains stores in detail, uh, you can go watch it. Um, I'm gonna assume that you already know this, so you can import readable writable from swell store okay so once that is there um, so here uh, we have these products right so this is not gonna change un until unless you know we change it explicitly so we can just uh, make this readable the app should not be able to change it so i'll uh, have a constant i'll export it right away because we want to use it in our app uh, i'll call this products equals uh, readable and inside i will have all the products uh, i think i'll just copy the entire array okay so i'll just uh, put it here so that's our products now I'll need another one for cart, right? So we have a cart. Uh, this can be, you know, this should be changeable. So we'll make it writable. So this should be uh, changeable by the app. So we'll have an empty array because uh, cart currently is empty. Yeah. And then we have address as an object. So address is also writable because user uh, can change that and here I'll have a object or I'll have everything that is here this is better okay so our store file is ready so what we did is we moved all these um, constants or variables that we had uh, into a store file uh, we can import this in our app as well so let's import um, so what are the things we exported products cart and address from dot slash cart dot js so once we do this uh, we can try logging them out uh, the way you subscribe to these store files is using a dollar sign products so we'll just check for products i mean if it is there uh, usually it's uh, um, okay so I'll, I'll hide all this right now or maybe i'll hide products only actually i'll have to hide all okay now i'll check whether we have something in the console we don't uh, maybe we'll have to uh, these assignments we have to correct them until then we don't see it let's import only products and see if it works and uh, let's uncomment cart and uh, address so that the app at least works yeah um, okay so we we do get products here okay uh, that is there so I'm guessing you know other things also work we can check them but not required now I'll control Z so that uh, we get address okay we are hiding everything else 
we can actually remove everything else because we already have those here the way we subscribe to those is using dollar so here wherever cart is there we just add a dollar let's do that that should take care of uh, the cart functionality so wherever we have okay so there are more dollar okay now uh, here is one more there is more and this one as well this products so whatever products is there you have to add a uh, dollar there so that it gets it dollar card and then okay address wherever you have address you have to use a dollar so I'm guessing there is a lot of instances where address is used here as well let's fix them like this and that should have taken care of it yeah so let's see if it uh, you know if it works as it was before adding card seems to work increment works decrement works and then address still works i think all the fields and check out yeah uh, as usual all the things are working as it was before so in the next one we are going to move uh, certain items let's say um, uh, maybe this message to one component uh, this entire products to one component this card to one component and address to another component maybe we'll make checkout to checkout also as another component not required but uh, we'll see if we can do it okay and that's it guys i hope uh, that made some of the things clear here how we can uh, use a store file to store all this but this can be very useful moving data between components so yeah Thanks. Bye-bye.